everyone. <sighs> Hello, everyone. I'm coming to you from under the ocean. As you can see by this beautiful blue light that is basking me in its beautiful glow. I'm going to take you back to a time when most of you probably weren't alive yet. It's a time when I was only eight years old to the year 1998, when computer systems were just kicking off. I didn't even have one yet. Most of you now grow up with computers, with phones, with phones that are more powerful than the computers that were around then. It's really weird. So let's go back to the past for a second and try and log into this Windows 98 horror game. Merez Inc. 1996 to 1998. This game's called 98XX. It looks cool because it just harkens back to that old school time of our lives. Back in, oh God, oh God, this is hideous. If your desktop still looks like this and you watch my content, just stop. <sighs> this game apparently is about me trying to solve this. Like I have to go through all of these to figure out what's going on. Ooh, Asteroid Blast. Yeah! I really wish that this game had the cadet pinball game on the desktop. Okay, press, press and hold spacebar to blast asteroids. This is just some good old fashioned fun. This is so easy. Oh my god, never mind. I, I have to stay centered. I have to stay centered right here. A whole space, never let go of it. Destroy everything! Ah! How am I supposed to even get that? Okay, I need an upgrade. No, no, yes! Speed, baby! What are you gonna do now? Okay, I'm officially bored. Um, let's figure out what's going on. Talking Gerald. Can we open you? Calvis Games again. Do not start this asteroid game. It's Talking Gerald. Okay, didn't like that. Uh, hello. Hello there, friend. My name is Gerald. It's wonderful to meet you. It's like playing with um, Eevee Bot all over again. Look behind you. Oh my god! Can you tell me a joke? What do you get when dinosaurs crash their cars? Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I'm gonna need a minute after that one. <laughs> me too. I need to go change my pants because I shit them for how funny that was. Um, You're worthless. You're a nice person. Who made you? I am a digital program created by none other than Calvisms. Okay. At least that's what I believe. At least that's what you believe. You're not supposed to have thoughts. I can't do much, but sometimes I just like to relax and think of the things that make me happy. You don't do the things that make you happy? You just think about them? A boy had two pet goldfish. He loved them very much. One day the boy got a new pet turtle and decided to put it in the same tank. He woke up the next morning to find out the turtle had eaten his goldfish. The boy desperate to get his fish back cut open the turtle only to realize all of his pets were now dead. That's a terrible story. I exist for your entertainment. I swear I heard the word sandwich in the middle of that. That is the nicest thing anyone has said to me. I might just shed a tear. Hey, let's be positive around here. <laughs> you disgust me. Listen, we don't have to go down this way. Let's just change the subject. No, you're trash! And you always have been! Please don't do this to me. I mean no harm. It wasn't my fault. I don't know why I'm here. Why did I deserve this? Who am I? Why am I? Jesus Christ! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, that really did not bode well with me. That was way too close. Ugh. Okay, ah, uh, we're back underwater. Okay, let's maybe not talk to Gerald again. I don't like him. 
Hey, the time is actually the time and date is actually correct. Weird. Uh, let's see if you have any photos. Just the lads. The lads out having a good time. Ah, sure. What's better than gambling? Birds. Stop doing that. Seven four nine. I feel like there's something hidden here and I can't see it. Somebody brighten up the screen! Okay, 749. 749 is useful for something. I'll call it. Oh! This is what it used to sound like! Okay, yeah, you couldn't go, I mean, everyone knows this by now, but you couldn't go on the internet and the phone at the same time because it came in over your phone line. It was the weirdest thing. It's so bizarre that that was ever a thing. Like, even I barely remember that anymore. Um, documents. Are you ready to part of the game studio that pushes boundaries, creativity, innovation? Oh, wait. I should have gone the other way. Ooh, a new document. Fatal car accident caused by drunk driver. On August 12th, 1998, a tragic car accident occurred. The accident involved two vehicles, a blue sedan driven by a mother and a black pickup truck driven by a man in his 30s. According to eyewitnesses, the truck was traveling at a high speed and swerving across the lanes prior to the collision. The blue sedan carrying a mother and her daughter was proceeding in the correct lane when the truck abruptly collided with it from the side. As a result of the collision, both the mother and her daughter sustained critical injuries. Emergency medical services were immediately dispatched to the scene and the victims were reported or transported to the hospital. Unfortunately, despite the efforts of medical personnel, both the mother and her daughter succumbed to their injuries at the hospital and were pronounced deceased. Oh man. Upon investigation, it was determined that the driver of the black truck was under the influence of alcohol at the time of the accident. Standardized field sobriety tests and a breathalyzer test indicated a significantly high blood alcohol content, surpassing the legal limit. The suspect exhibited signs of impairment, including slurred speech, bloodshot eyes, and an odor of alcohol under breath. Sometimes you don't even need the test. Sometimes you can just see somebody and smell them and you know what is going on. They were charged with multiple offenses, including vehicular manslaughter, driving under the influence, DUI, and reckless driving. Additional witnesses, including those who saw the suspect consuming alcohol prior to the accident, will be interviewed to gather further evidence for the case. Conclusion. This tragic incident resulted in the untimely death of a mother and her daughter. The suspect was arrested and is currently in custody facing charges related to the accident. Our thoughts and condolences go out to the family and friends affected by this devastating loss. The investigation into this case will continue and a comprehensive report will be prepared and submitted to the appropriate authorities for legal proceedings. Is that what I got by searching this? Because there was only three, right? Ryan D is a concerned parent regarding my son and his increasing addiction to your games. As a game studio that strives to make high quality games, I believe you value the well-being of your players and I am reaching out to seek your support and guidance. First and foremost, I would like to acknowledge the exceptional quality of the games. Yeah, yeah, I've noticed a significant decline in his academic performance. That happens. It's He probably just has ADHD like I did and just doesn't want to do schoolwork. He's been displaying signs of restlessness and irritability when he is unable to access or play your games. Well, that wasn't me. I would just go outside. This is 1998. <laughs> These concerning behaviors have led me to believe, with a three, that his attachment to your games may be turning into an unhealthy addiction. Responsible Game Studio, I kindly request in addressing this issue. Appreciate your attention. Okay, concerned parent. Trying to express heartfelt gratitude for the new addition you have implemented in your desktop software, the feature where pressing the enter key reorganizes the desktop has made a significant positive impact on my daily digital experience. Does it? Oh. Okay. What should we go to next? Surfer Jumping Julian? Let's play a game again. I don't know if... Dream War Studios. I don't know if playing the games actually yields results. Oh my god, this looks like some Baldi's basic stuff. Hello there. My name is Julian, and I am very happy you are playing with me. I love when people play with me. Use the arrow keys and space bar to help me make my way up to the top. Have fun.
See, people talk about AI taking over the world right now. It's like, we kind of had AI back then. Isn't like Microsoft Sam and Clippy and all that stuff? Yeah, I did. AI? Now on to the next level. This looks a bit tougher, but I should make it through. How in the bloody hell, Julian? Oh, never mind, you're a gamer. Gamers got mad hops! Oops. Yeah, I did it. Now on to the next level. Now this looks challenging. Not for I me. Do this. What do you mean you can do this? I'm the one controlling you. I'm the one making you do anything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, jumping Julian! Chill out, bro! Now we got the rhythm. Yes. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy, easy! Oh! A fatal exception. That error code has occurred at... Okay. This was called from... It may be possible to continue normally. My god. Seeing a blue screen, even knowing it's part of the game, freaks me out, thinking that I'm about to, like, lose all of my recording. Nothing is worse. Nothing is worse than putting energy and effort into making a video, and then having the whole thing get corrupted, lost, blue screen. It's so bothersome. Okay, so Jumping Julian messed me up. Surfer. Whoa. Hi. It seems that a problem has occurred. But do not worry as I have fixed the game and made it even better. How did- How did you get out of the game? <laughs> did he hack my desktop? I feel like it's- I do have something to ask. Do you ever wonder if there's an afterlife? It's something I've really been thinking about. Well, anyway, let's play the game. If I- okay, you're just launching it for me. Okay, the AI is getting out of the game and straight into my life. If you turned off the computer, wouldn't that kind of be you dead? Finally, a brand new challenge. Whoa! Be fun. Bombs everywhere. Don't die, bud. If you die in the game, you die in real life. Okay, easy. Yeah, I did it. Now on to the next level. Oh boy, here comes a real challenge. I feel like I kind of have this. to get him killed. Oh god, never mind. I don't. <laughs> okay, go fast before the balls reset. Oh! I couldn't even see it! It's bullshit game design! Yeah, I did it. Now oh, level. you're really gonna twist my nipples on this one, aren't you? Oh, I don't like this. This is like playing like those impossible Mario games again. Oh, I got the timing all wrong. Then you go, and then you go, and then you. Go. Oh! I hate this. I hate these types of games. They they just don't. Because I start getting impatient, and I start getting angry. Okay. And go. And go. Okay, okay. Halfway there. If you die now, I will kill you. It's not even that hard. But it's the pressure of performing that gets to me. No! You see what I mean? You see what I mean? You see what I mean? I can do it this time. I can do it this time. No bothers at all. Yeah, blue screen again, why don't you? Yeah, why not? Fine, cool, do it to me. As long as that game is over, you're gonna make me play it again, aren't you? But it's gonna be harder. Welcome, Jax. <laughs> I guess, eptic eye wasn't able to fit on the screen. Don't, don't do it to me again. Don't, I don't care. I don't care. These are all just games at this point. Okay. Does nothing work? Gerald! Oh no, that's Julian! What? <laughs> huh? <laughs> okay, that's cool! Oh. Hey, Julian! 
do you ever wonder why death happens? Death comes unexpectedly. One moment you're fine, and then it all ends. So feel you must die, you must die, you must die, you must die. You must die. I must die! Okay, <laughs> I guess I died. Hey, it smiled. Ah! Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Am I okay? Have I sustained bullet wounds? God, don't do that. Christ. Oh, now it just says welcome. Because the name of this PC is Jax. Because I got it pre-built and I guess they wanted to put in Jacksepticeye. Or maybe just Jax computer, like it's my computer. It's interesting that it said it last time, like it read my computer. I know what server is. Oh, it's the web. That makes sense. In 1991. In 1991, Bob Carter founded Razi Incorporated with a vision to revolutionize the computer chip industry. Today, his company is one of the most. I'm not reading all of this. <laughs> okay, he, big important man. Cool. Mirez is taking the world by storm with the launch of her newest computer, the 98XX. Oh, it's the name of the computer, not the software. This cutting edge style device has been praised by tech experts. Show how D4D Mirez Inc. came to the best company ever in the world. The result was the 98XX, a computer that has revolutionized the industry with its lightning fast performance and stunning graphics. Yeah, people really did say that all the time back then for everything. Turbo Graphics 16 is about to knock video games back into the Stone Age. It's like, wow, you can open up two files at the same time. All of these factors have contributed to Merez Inc's success by making it the best computer company in the world. Satisfaction ensures continue years to come. Okay. New game takes the world by storm. I'm sorry, there is no way that even in 1998 that this game takes the world by storm. There's just no way. Even kids back then weren't that stupid. Also, why does this look like baby Ethan? In recent months, a new game has taken the internet by storm, captivating the attention of kids and adults alike. Jumping Julian, created by Dreamer Studios. One of the game's biggest draws is its addictive gameplay, highly contested by me. Jumping Julian is easy to pick up, but difficult to master, making players want to keep trying until they beat a level. We've had a three and we've had an eight. Oh, seven, eight, nine is in here. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Okay, seven, eight, nine. Will that work? Maybe I missed something that was in the three document as well. No. Okay, um, let's play Ball Popper. Calvis Games is back! Oh, now this is stunning 3D graphics! Okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go, there you go, whoa! Okay! Burst them all! Oh, okay. Apparently I'm not very good at these types of games. Nice, nice, nice! Woo! Well done! Oh, I thought you were gonna give me something. Can I get something from this? Time is money! I don't wanna, like, w be wasting my time here playing your silly ball game. If I'm not getting anything for it. I guess enjoyment. There you go. Yep. Okay, I'm running out of balls here. That was terrible. Come on! Oh wait, my balls actually aren't running out. Okay. The music is lit though. Okay, whatever. That's fun, but that's not why we're here. Puzzle patterns. Match all of the shapes. To what, though? Like, to each other? I don't get this. Do I just have to put in every pattern? Cool, cool game. Really liked that one. <laughs> Is Jumping Julian going to be different? I really don't want to play this game again. I, I really don't. It's going to get on my nerves. Hey, you're back. Hello there. My name is Chul. So playing the game again didn't do anything. Uh, Ball Popper wasn't really doing anything. Pixel paint? Oh, 
Cool. I made a meatball. Pretty neat, huh? I think it's pretty cool. I, I like this. This is a nice little meatball. It deserves love. Um, <laughs> oh, audio should have something good. Oh. Okay, so that's the Jumping Julian music. Ball popper. But this one's unknown. Okay, the crickets. Oh, reverse. Okay. xx.com slash report Jump off the platforms to find the key that will set them all free Jump off the platforms to find ET that will set them all free Okay, I don't want to find ET <laughs> Can I actually search things? 98 xx.com slash report was that it let me check again xxworld.com slash report 98xxworld.com okay that still didn't work okay i thought i had it oh wait we can edit photos Paint invert. Ooh, seven four nine six one. That's cool. Okay, we have so many numbers. We have seven four nine. We have five five five. And then what was this one again? Seven four nine six one. Oh, seven four nine is in the other one as well. Let me try 555-74961. Five, 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 Is that a full phone number? Unless 749 goes first, I don't know how phone numbers work these days. Uh, oh, Jesus. Well, that's clearly not connecting. Oh, wait. Unless it's the other numbers I got in the surfer. It was seven eight nine. Yeah, I also have a seven eight nine. This is so confusing. Okay, any numbers in the help? Oh, encryption and data protection in conjunction with three-digit code and two-factor authentication employs state-of-the-art encryption algorithms to safeguard the contents of stored files. The combination of these security measures ensures that even if the attacker manages to gain access without the proper decryption key, wasn't it in a photo that I saw it? Yeah, 749 as well. But like, what's this? Is this a picture or just nothing? Jesus Christ! <sighs> okay, should I go to that in real life? 98xx.world Or 98xxworld Okay, this just brings you to this Maybe slash report? Oh, Gary Summers Approximately 10.45pm a tragic car accident occurred at an intersection involved Gary Summers, a 34 year old male who was arrested at the scene for drunk driving and his involvement in the accidental killing of a mother and her daughter. So this is the guy who did it. At the time of the incident, Gary Summers was driving a black pickup truck while under the influence of alcohol, which resulted in... Yeah, we know all this already. Arrest and detainment. He was arrested on the spot, taken into custody. 
Blood alcohol content, judicial proceedings. Gary Summers remained in custody from the time of his until 99, when a man whose identity has not been disclosed at this time arrived at the county jail and posted Summers bail. The bail payment secured Summers' temporary release pending the trial. The individual providing bail also informed the jail staff that he was offering Summers a job opportunity to support his rehabilitation efforts. However, it should be noted that bail does not exonerate the accused of their charges and Summers is still obligated to attend all future court proceedings related to this case. The incident involving Gary Summers has resulted in a tragic loss of life and significant distress to the victim's families. Police department can ensure a fair and thorough investigation and trial. Interesting. So somebody came and bailed him out? I wonder who would do that. Maybe the tech guy in the other article. Oh! What the fuck? Oh my god, that scared me! Mitergna? That exe? Holy! How did that even happen? What did I do? I typed 789 into the search bar because I was like, oh, maybe that'll show up. Do I have a virus on my computer now? Oh, vid player. We have no videos installed. Oh, new layers. This is cool. Okay, no one's hiding behind there anymore, are they? Matching game. We haven't done that yet. <laughs> I'm a genius. Okay. Okay, that goes there. Then you're gonna be Moon. Ugh. Almost got it right. See, I don't know if- Hey! I don't know if doing these actually yields anything. Oh, this is the wrong way of going about this. Or not. Apparently, memory is my thing. Sure! Dude, I'm goaded at this! Hey! We'll do three rounds. Laws of three. Oh, jeez. Okay. Are these matching the same way? Is this... Yeah. These are matching the same way. Aren't they? Are these the exact same matchings as the last one? Maybe the pictures will get weirder and weirder. Yup. Yup. <laughs> oh god. Wait, are you gonna match with that? Yeah. No, I already forgot now. So are you this one? Yeah, these are just the same matchings. Every time. Ah, that, 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 that. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. This game is really like making me jump. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Where's this gonna go? There's an interview video 98, 98xxworld.com, second interview. Oh, okay, are we on? Cool. Hello, my name is Evan Anderson, and I have been working at Calvis Games for the past three months. In that short period of time, we at Calvis Games have been working hard to deliver the most entertaining and educational games for your children and family. Our founder has always made hard work and efficiency a top priority. So you can count on us at Calvis Games to bring you the best gaming experience for you to enjoy. 888-746-39247. Okay, cool. So, 888-746... Oh, 749 is the one I got before. 39247. Sex world.
L A R T C L? L A R T C L? Oh. Mysterious disappearance of three children at gaming convention shakes community. 1999. In a shocking turn of events that has sent ripples of fear and concern throughout our community, three children have gone missing during a gaming convention which took place at 2.30 p.m. on May the... Yeah, yeah. The missing kids are Ellie Miller, David, and Johnny Smith. As the clock ticks and the search for these young souls intensifies, the public is left wondering about the circumstances surrounding their disappearance. Gaming conventions are usually a hub of excitement where players, developers, and fans come together to celebrate their shared passion for video games. The event in question, a highly anticipated gathering for gamers, was supposed to be a fun-filled day of competitions, showcases, and camaraderie, but as the day unfolded, the joy quickly turned into anguish. Ellie Miller, a 12-year-old girl, was attending the convention with her family. Ellie was known for her passion for adventure games and her vibrant personality. She was last seen near the entrance of the convention center, excitedly discussing her favorite games with fellow attendees. Her parents lost sight of her when they briefly turned their attention to the exhibits. Oh, so they weren't together. I thought all three kids were hanging out together. David Smith, 13, and his younger brother Johnny, 10, had come to the convention with their father. Both boys were avid gamers and they couldn't contain their enthusiasm as they explored the various game setups. Their father, Stephen Smith, assumed they were safe in the bustling crowd and took the opportunity to grab a quick bite to eat, but then he returned. His sons were nowhere to be found. That is negligence. I had two boys at a gaming convention? There's no way I would let them out of my sight. Hold hands at all times. If you're playing a game, stay around them. As soon as the families of the missing children realized that something was amiss, they immediately reported the disappearance to the authorities. The police were quick to respond, launching an extensive search operation throughout the convention center. However, with the labyrinthine layout of the venue and the large number of attendees, finding any leads proved to be a formidable challenge. The convention center security cameras are currently being reviewed. The authorities are seeking any potential witnesses who might have seen something unusual at the time of the disappearance. Convention attendees are urged to come forward with any information that may help locating them. Community members are con and concerned parents have gathered to show their support for the affected families as the clock ticks and the sense of urgency grows. The entire community is united in their hope for a safe return for these missing children. The sudden and mysterious disappearance of Ellie, David, and Johnny has sent shockwaves to our community. Parents are left grappling. As soon as the investigation falls, the search continues. Our hearts are okay. We can only hope that they will be reunited with their loved ones very soon and that the answers will be found and questions still haunt us all. Damn. That's messed up. Okay, so what haven't I done? Tank blast? Oh. Oh my god, this fucking sucks. Ah, this really sucks. I, it's really hard to aim this fucking thing. I don't think anything's happening. <laughs> I sat here and played until I got 2,000 points and five lives. I, I think that one is a dud. I don't think that's doing anything. Oh. Oh, wait, there's different- oh, shit. Oh, so it doesn't make a sound again. So if you do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine. I didn't even realize the numbers were there. Whoa! The mysterious disappearance of Jason Storm from Razi Inc. In early October of 1998, Jason Storm, an employee of Razi Inc., disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Storm, a promising young engineer, was last seen headed to the company's warehouse, where he was scheduled to work on a new project. When he failed to return, there's another one, his colleagues raised the alarm and search was launched. However, despite an intensive investigation, no trace of Storm has ever been found. The disappearance of Jason Storm remains a mystery to this day and has left his family, friends and colleagues with many unanswered questions. Rumors and speculation have swirled around the incident, with some suggesting foul play and others pointing to a potential accident or a technical malfunction. This is giving kind of like, um, Amanda... Chill? Amanda the Adventurer stuff, but there was another game I played 
that had, it was in a Three Scary Games video where somebody's whole personality was put into a AI. It feels like something like that is happening. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, some have speculated that Razzie Inc. may have played a role in Storm's disappearance. However, the company has strongly denied any involvement and has cooperated fully with the authorities in their investigation. The case has remained open, with authorities continuing to search for any clues that may help shed light on what happened to Jason Storm. Meanwhile, his loved ones continue to hold out hope that they may one day be found alive and well. The disappearance of Jason Storm has had a profound impact on those who knew him and has served as a reminder of the dangers that can lurk in even most seemingly secure and mundane of workplaces. It has also raised important questions about workplace safety and responsibilities of employers to ensure the well-being of their employees. While the case may remain unsolved, the memory of Jason Storm lives on as disappearance continues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude! Chill out! The Rise and Fall of Jumping Julian, a cautionary tale of game development. Oh, there's one, two, three in this one as well. In the world of video games, success can be fleeting. One day you're the talk of the town, the next you're yesterday's news. This was the case for Jumping Julian, the once popular game created by John Monkford that quickly... Oh, that fucking knocking. Quickly fell out of favor due to harsh feedback. Jumping Julian was initially greeted with excitement and anticipation. The game promised a unique platforming experience with vibrant visuals and engaging gameplay. However, the players began to spend more time with the game. They started to notice some serious design flaws. One of the biggest complaints was the game's annoying gameplay, which featured frustrating controls and repetitive level design. That's what I said. Players found themselves getting stuck on obstacles, ops to ackles and dying frequently, leading to a sense of frustration and boredom. The poor design choices were not lost on players and reviews for the game were overwhelmingly negative. One person in particular, Jason Storm, left in an extremely harsh review that left John Monkford heartbroken. That's the guy who just disappeared. Negative feedback proved to be too much for Monkford who struggled to cope with the criticism. And after a few months, he decided to leave game development business and pursue other opportunities. He landed at Razzie, a company known for innovative computer chips, while the development world behind his experience with Jumping Julian taught him valuable lessons about the importance of listening to feedback and constantly striving to improve. The downfall of Jumping Julian serves as a cautionary tale for game developers everywhere. It's a reminder that success can be fleeting and that even the most promising games can fall out of favor if they don't live up to player expectations. That's everything on the internet these days. Do you remember back in the day when stuff would happen, we would talk about it for so long and nowadays something big comes along, it happens and we just move on within like two weeks. Unless you make something that really connects with people, some sort of like Five Nights at Freddy's game, where you have so much lore and so much stuff to uncover and so many things that people can talk about. But even the movie, it feels like the movie came out, people forgot about it two weeks later. It's so bizarre how quickly we churn through content. Anyway, three. <laughs> so I wouldn't see it as like a, a bad thing for yourself if you're making a game, like Among Us and Fall Guys and all these types of games that came out that were huge hits and like even Fortnite like so many people still play Fortnite Stop knocking on my door, but like like it's just not the same like people are waiting for the next big thing all the time Anyway, the suicide outbreak at Razzie jeez in a shocking turn of events several employees at Razzie have committed suicide while playing the game jumping Julian Guys I played it twice the game created by former employee John Monkford has been linked to the deaths of multiple staff members, leaving the company reeling and the gaming community in shock. The first reported suicide occurred in late October of 1998 when a Razzie Inc. employee was found dead in his office surrounded by screens showing Jumping Julian. At the time, the incident was considered an isolated case and was attributed to personal issues rather than the game itself. However, over a f over the next few weeks, several more employees took their own lives when playing the game. Concerned staff members raised the alarm and the company sent out a memo advising employees to avoid playing the game altogether. As the death toll continued to rise, management began to investigate the matter more closely. They discovered that John Monkford, the game's creator, had included subliminal messages in the game that appeared to have triggered the suicidal behavior in some players. In response, the company contacted the police and launched a search for Monkford. However, when they finally located him, they discovered that he too had taken his own life. The suicides at Razzie have sent shockwaves to the gaming industry, raising important questions about the responsibilities of game developers and the potential risks associated with immersive gameplay. It has also highlighted the need for companies to take a closer look at the content of the games they produce and to ensure that they are not promoting harmful behavior or causing undue harm to players. That is an interesting 
idea, not subliminal messages and the suicide of it all, that's awful to think about. But there have been times when games come out and you find out that some guy in the art department or the writing department has left like a little something in and then the higher ups have to come down at it and be like, shit, we didn't know that was in the game, we're so sorry. And they put out an apology. But it's like, how do you ensure, like unless you're going through it with a fine tooth comb and having the best intentions from people, how do you know they're not putting stuff in their games all the time? Like subliminal stuff that's harder to find. And I also think about, like, when games come out, how platforms like Steam and everything, like, or, like scrub through them for malware, and it's a crazy world out there. Tragedy is also underscore the importance of mental health in the workplace and the need for companies to provide support and resources to employees by struggling, or who are struggling with potential issues. In the wake of the suicides, they issued a public apology, ensuring the safety and well-being of its employees. The company has pledged to work with mental health. Yeah, yeah. PR. Razzie Inc. shuts down after suicide incident. Damn, they just shut down completely? Razzie Inc. was once a leading computer chip company known for their innovative designs. Are you going to do that breathing voice thing again? <laughs> However, this company's success was short lived in 1998. Several employees of Razzie Inc. committed suicide, including er, while playing Jumping Julian, a game created by John Mumford, who had previously worked at the company. Yeah, this is all stuff we know. Police intense scrutiny of the gaming industry as a whole while well, it was discovered that the game had a hidden code that triggered suicidal tendencies in some players leading to their tragic deaths. The revelation sparked a wave of panic and fear among gamers with many calling for increased regulation in the oversight of the industry in the wake of the incident. Shut down the company's assets were sold off to other companies. Once the most sought after assets of Razzie were the revolutionary computer chips, these chips were highly coveted by gaming companies. Oh, so are we playing games by people who got those chips? Yeah. Serves as a stark reminder of the dark side of the gaming. While video games are a source of entertainment and joy, they can also have serious consequences if not handled responsibly. It is essential that game developers and companies prioritize the safety and well being of their players. Ooh, we got a video! That was a lot of reading. Jesus! <laughs> okay! Wow. Is that Morse code? This is leading to a download link called IA5H3R4.txt. Leads to this. Download. Oh god, it's hexadecimal. Right, isn't this hexadecimal? We need a translator. I wander in darkness, but never in light. I get to their heads and feed off their anger. You wish to find me, I know you do. Seek these places and look very hard. Wait, another game? Trevor the Dragon? Ah! Nutcracker? Brigadoon? The fuck are these? Are these just made by the person who made this game? Yeah. Is this it? What do I what do I do? Oh. I just avoid dragon fire and collect things? I don't think this has relevance to the other game. That's the all the mores I got so far. <laughs> that was what I wrote down, and it's I am always watching, I assume. How very anti of him, but I think there's probably more to it and I can't seem to get that. There is so much to all of this. I don't know if there's anything at the end of Tank Blast. Maybe there's something at the end of Ball Popper. I didn't really play this for that long. Let me try, at least. I would hate to end the video and then have people be like, No, Sean, if you kept playing Ball Popper, you would have got the ultimate answers to the universe. Multi-ball! Multi-ball! I'm just a ball lover. I love balls! As I would say in a previous life. I love balls! Oh, it's getting way faster. Oh, God. God damn it. I don't have the dexterity of a young man anymore. <laughs> Whoa, never mind. I'm godly. Whoa. That was sick. Yeah, give me multi ball. Multi ball is the only way that I can. Uh oh. I died. Hi! Jeez. You're gonna do it again. I- I knew it. What did it say behind him? 
This is why I don't want kids. <laughs> All I heard is Wait, there's an eight in here. The innovative addition has exceeded my expectations. I'm grateful for the positive impact it's had in my daily work. Is there there's no numbers anywhere else in this one, is there? Ooh, ooh. Is that this one? Okay, maybe there's a number in the first one. Five! There's a five! Five something nine! Five something eight! Three! Three! Five three eight! <gasps> I got it! I f wait, I feel like I knew that already. Oh! Incident report, break-in and disturbance at Greenwood Cemetery. February 1999 at approximately midnight, a break-in and disturbance were reported at Greenwood Cemetery. I responded to a call, arrived at 136. Upon arrival, I met with the reporting party, who stated that they witnessed an individual breaking into the cemetery and digging up graves. The witness reported that they immediately called emergency services, but before the authorities arrived, the suspect fled the scene on foot, escaping any apprehension. Investigation and actions taken. Upon arrival at the scene, I conducted a preliminary investigation. I observed that exactly two disturbed grave sites where, where soil had been dug up indicating recent disturbance. I also interviewed the witnesses and gathered relevant information regarding the suspect's physical appearance and direction of escape. I conducted a thorough search of the surrounding area, but due to the suspect's timely escape, I wasn't able to locate or apprehend them. However, I ensured the preservation of the crime scene, collecting potential evidence such as footprints, tool marks, and any other trace evidence that could have aided in the investigation. I also contacted the Greenwood Cemetery staff and informed them of the incident. They provided access to the cemetery records and indicated their willingness to cooperate fully in the investigation. CCTV footage from nearby surveillance cameras is being reviewed to identify any individual evidence related to the incident. Can I have that footage? This, the incident at Greenwood Cemetery is in, involved a break-in and disturbance where individual was given digging up graves. This report serves as initial documentation of the incident. Any further evidence or witness statements at the investigation process. Can I have more? I want more. Is there any more numbers around? I'm convinced that this is a picture. Can I screenshot this? Hold on. I'm not gonna ask you guys to do it. I'm not gonna make you open up stuff and do it for me after the fact when I can just do it here. I'm gonna increase the brightness. There's nothing there. I don't see a damn thing. Can I... Use curves to do it? <gasps> there is! Oh my god, there's an 836! Oh, baby, it had to be way brightened! Oh, let's go! 836! 836! I knew it had to be in there for a reason. And I would have been... The reason I went to it is because I would have been so mad if I was like, can you guys brighten that afterwards and then you find out there's an 836 in it and then I'm like, well, I did the video already. I see you. I see you, Jax. <laughs> Look, that's the name of my computer. <laughs> Fuck! Okay. <laughs> okay, work log. <laughs> Got it. Oh my god. Ooh, a video. Is this thing recording? Okay, very good. And I'm adding this work log in regards of the new guy. What is he here for, and what does he do? Well, my name is Edward Phillips, and I've been part of Resident Incorporated for about five years now. Working here has been pleasant all of these years. Everyone seems like they enjoy what they do. Well, except for this one. Recently, the company hired this new guy. And something seems off about him. He never smiles. I rarely see him on the job site. And when he passes by, he just ignores my friendly greetings. I'm not sure where Mr. Carter found this guy. But perhaps he's a little nervous about working in a new place. But I still don't understand what he's here for. And what he's going to be doing. Either way, I'm not going to judge him. Okay. Wait, so what the hell does that mean? I will admit that I don't really know what's going on in general. I'm having a hard time, like, connecting the dots right now. I'm gonna have to rely on your help to <laughs> figure it out. Um, did they tell me to jump out of bounds? Jump off the platform or something? Because there's, there's one platform in this that was... 
I tried. Maybe this on the edge, but there was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the next area had the diagonal ones, and then there was one over on the left that has always weirded me out. And I just walked off, but I didn't try jumping off. Ha-ha! A key! A key to what? <laughs> I don't know where a key would go. Wait, there's a second area I can jump off. Yeah, this one. You're gonna make it through. Don't you fucking worry. <gasps> yes. Use my key. Did that do anything? I better have done something. I was hoping there'd be like a new thing unlocked. Jesus Christ. Okay, there was. There was. Oh my God. What the fuck was that? Am I dead? Okay, maybe I have to find keys and bring them? Dude, this is fascinating. There's so much in this game. Stick to a wall so I know where I'm going. Okay, key. Got that. Let's try left. Okay, second key. I have one key, yes, but what about second key? Wait, there's only two locks though. Do I just get two choices to get the right one? Let's see what happens. Let's just pick the far left one. Oh! What did I do? Did I inseminate the egg? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it is finished. I don't know what I did. I felt like I was a sperm looking for the egg. Maybe that says more about me than it does about what I just played, but it felt like that's what happened. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave this here. I've been recording this for like two hours, which you can actually see in real time. You can see how much time has passed down here. This is the actual time I've been playing the game. Really cool. I'm sure there's like a million and one things that I've still missed. I would love for you guys to give me tips and hints and like give me the lore and it feels like one of those games that there's been a, a community building in the background that I've just been unaware of and now it's here and now everyone's playing it and it's going to start like coming to fruition and we're all going to figure this out together but right now in the game I don't really have any answers. Maybe they're going to update the game, maybe they're going to add more but it's really cool. I like these types of games where you go hunting for easter eggs and stuff. I just wish there was a little bit more meat on it right now because I'm not really... Maybe it's me just not putting the pieces together and it's just the nature of these types of games like the ARG elements to it. I am a big fan of these types of things. I've always kind of wanted to do one myself, but I obviously lack the skills to be able to make anything like this. So maybe it's just me not piecing it together, but that's the point of these types of things and ARG should never be solved by one person. I feel like if it's solvable by one person, then it's not doing what it's intended. And the intention of these types of things is to get more people talking about them and more people involved and engaged and working on stuff together. And hey, I found these numbers here and I put them in and got this. And it's like, oh, but I got this and that actually matches with that. And then you piece the knowledge together. So I'm curious what you guys think in the comments. Let me know what has been figured out about the game, what I've missed. If I kept playing Ball Popper or Tank Blast for a really long time or Asteroid Blast, would I've gotten something? What the puzzle patterns mean? I don't really get that one yet, but that's why it's fun. Communicate! Commune with each other in the comments. That's why we make YouTube videos, so we can all talk together and all interact with one another. It shouldn't be just me telling you what is happening and you go, cool video, and that's it. It should be us communicating, talking with one another. I like that, so... Let me know! Really cool game, go get it for yourselves, try it, see if there's anything else you can get in it. It's called 98XX. Really cool. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.